Hey everyone, it's Christina from American Root Flower Farms. So right now I am yard and I am going to do an unboxing of these cut flower plugs that I bought from Farmer Bailey. I bought these through his uh, website. On Fridays he will post uh, stuff that is available to be shipped right then and then they will ship that on Monday. And so I was lucky enough to be able to buy, I think six, five or six trays. Uh, one box came yesterday and I will pull that out to show you afterwards. I placed one order and it came in three shipments. Because of the size of the trays determines the, uh, how many go in a box. Ona opened this box and so uh, he got to see what was inside. Uh, in this box there is Dianthus Electron Mix and Lizzie Megalo 2. I'm, I think DP orange, which I'm assuming is deep orange. Oh, and also Snapdragon Apple Blossom. So this top one is a Snapdragons and they are big and beautiful. These are the Apple Blossom. And there is 210 in this tray. Gosh, they are gorgeous. And these are ready to plant out. There's actually two for sale on these and they're, some of them are kind of dry. Some of them are dry. So I'm gonna make sure to water these. Lizzie's are a little smushed, but it's understandable because they are so big. And these Lizzie's are the Megalo DP Orange. Oh, they're so big for their cells. Holy cow, I just can't get over how big they are. They need water and uh, they need to be planted. <laughs> They come really nicely packed. Uh, there is no room for movement in these boxes. Even the box that I got yesterday that only had one tray in it, it was still stuffed as if there was multiple trays in it. Uh, these ones are fairly squished and I feel like one of them is not like the others. This one is root, no, this one is the Dianthus. And they are pretty flattened, but they don't look like they're broken. They have roots growing out the tops of them and at the underside. I'll zoom in on the one that looks, the one that doesn't look like the others. But here these are. And the one that doesn't look like the others is right here. And I'll zoom in on that. It's kind of got rigid ed edges on it, whereas the other ones do not. So that'll be interesting to see what that one turns out to be. And in this box we have these, each one of these have 210. We have Blue Plurum, Graffiti Green Gold, and Campanula Champion 2 White.
It is November 17th. Here we are in zone 9B and it is time to fall plant. And so all of these I will overwinter. Here's the empty tray. See how it's like, it keeps it from being nicely, um, like the box nice and tight so there's no movement. This is the blue pleurum and they look pretty great. None of them are destroyed or anything. They've got like um, darker, some darker green on the leaves, which all of them do, except for the snapdragons. That looks like some like water spots or waterlogged or something, but uh, that should, or almost look like they got too cold somewhere, but they did come from Pennsylvania and we're in California. So that's the blue pleurum. And there was also 210 of these. And this one looks really bad. This one looks like they froze. And I will take pictures of this and send it to Farmer Bailey because those definitely look like they froze. Somewhere between here and Pennsylvania. I'm assuming that's froze. That looks what it looks like. But yeah, so um, out of Let me grab the other, let me grab the other tray from yesterday. So the last one that was Campanula uh, Champion White. And then this was the tray that came yesterday. It's Lizzie and it is the Voyage First Love, I believe. So out of six trays to only have one that's partially damaged, I feel like that is a pretty good success rate and I'm not gonna complain about it. I am uh, more than happy and I know that Farmer Bailey is good about uh, customer satisfaction. So uh, I'm just gonna email him about that and, uh, and then we'll deal with that separately. So I'm gonna water these and then I'm gonna put them on a rack on, in my covered patio area and that way they can harden off a little bit. I will bring them out into the sunlight for a few hours uh, every day. So I would like to plant these out on Sunday. However, I don't know that they'll be fully hardened off by Sunday. I'm gonna leave them on this table for a few hours after watering them so they can begin to harden off. And then I will put them in my covered patio area and then pull them back out tomorrow and then again on Sunday and then move them out on Sunday evening, I think. Uh, some of them will go out on Monday. If you're new to my channel, I have a 2.5 acre flower farm, not in my house, but off location. And we have that for a UPIC flower farm last year or this year. This summer was our first year. We've had it for less than a year and uh, we started that from scratch. So if you wanna follow along with that story, follow this video back to my channel and you can check it out. Thanks for watching and put your comments down below so thanks for watching and remember, keep your hands dirty. And we'll deal with that separately. Do you, you make me nervous when you watch. So I'm gonna water these. Um, and if you're new to my channel, make sure you like and subscribe if you like the content I'm putting out.
No, that's not right. Camera stop watching. Oh, thank you. If you're new to my channel, I grow. If you're new to my channel, I have a 2.5 acre flower farm, not in my house, but off location.